Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. I've had quite a few people ask about folder structures and then how to save things to USB um, if you're doing like a backup. So I'm doing one right now and thought I would video how it's done. Okay, so right now I have one USB stick right here loaded. And I also have another one loaded right here that has not been renamed. So I'm going to click on it because I also need to get rid of this stuff. I don't like this stuff on there. It just takes up space. So I highlighted both of them, which is a left click and hold. And then I drag my mouse across it and that will highlight both of them. And then I right clicked when my mouse was on top of it. And then that will hopefully someday bring up the right click options menu and in that menu will be this right here delete so then I delete them okay that is still highlighted so I put my mouse over it I right click <laughs> maybe right click and click rename this is going to be embroidery 2 and I will tell you why because when I go to my embroidery folder, let me actually click off of this. Well, no, I don't want to. Let's show you what it says. Okay, it says the size of my embroidery folder is 8.63. Well, I am using SanDisk Cruiser Glides 8 gigabytes. So I know that my folder is over that. So I need two sticks. And I will show you how I figure that out, the size. Come over here, left click once on it, and then I right click. Come down here, click properties. That will bring up a properties box and it will take a little while to read through everything that you have and then your total size will come up eventually, okay? And that told me that it's too big for one stick, which is fine because I know I would end up needing two anyhow. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to open this. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to split this top and bottom probably. Or maybe I'll do more than that. Okay, so see I just, you click once right here and as you click it, you hold it and you drag your mouse across. Okay, so right now I'm clicking and I'm dragging it across still holding it then I release now I'm going to click so I'm clicking right now on my left mouse button still have it held still have it held I'm dragging it to where it says copy to embroidery and I released so that is now copying everything over into my into my embroidery USB stick. Okay? And I'm going to let that go and let it copy. Taking the top row ended up being too much um for one stick. It was 0 0.015 gigabytes too much. So I had to break it down and start to um and uh, drag and drop the files um, by individual folders which isn't a problem but as you can see you can do as many as you need to as the um, uh, memory as the gigabytes will allow okay so I have taken my biggest ones and dropped them into there um, and I think I'll start putting my smaller ones over onto here and this is how you do it you just place that left or place your mouse I have left clicked and I am still holding so I can drag this around still holding my left mouse button when I get that message across there that says plus copy to embroidery 2 I drop it so I release my left mouse key and as you see it comes up on here and it will tell me okay and it will start to copy all of that and that medical alert went real quick. I mean, it's like an instant copy there. Alma's files, I'm going to left click and hold, so I'm still holding that. I'll drag hers over there, so it's setting right on top of there. I don't want to drop it anywhere else because then that's where it'll move to. 
So I put it right on top of that actual stick and I drop it. Okay, so then it'll say four running actions. You'll see it right here because that's the stick that I put it in. It's almost done. When it's done, it will pop up right in here. So there it is again, still in here. Okay, so that's how you can go about transferring the files that you already have in here over to a stick. Really simple, really easy to do. Um, if you're worried about backup, um, you can use sticks, but don't let that be the only thing you do. These sticks can fail. Um, you can use an external hard drive. Again, don't let that be the only thing you do because that can also fail. Um, you can use Dropbox, but if you're like me and you have a li limited internet, that can also be a pain. Um, but try using a combination of all of them. Um, and that tends to work the best. All right, guys, if you have any questions at all on how to um, get your stuff over to a USB stick and how to rename them and all that good stuff, just get a hold of us over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook, and we'll gladly help you. Thanks, guys.